Hello! We are going to talk about a really um, easy to display that you can display your products on um, that's really inexpensive as well. So um, we're just going to get started. I already have the base down. This is a wardrobe that you can get at Walmart for $15. Um, you can search um, clothes rack and find it. So I just leave the bottom the way it is. These are really you know light. So that's the base. And hopefully we'll be able to get all this on camera, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so you take the sides and you push them in. And you space inward. That way you can put the middle up and you want to make sure it has the middle or it will collapse and fall over on you. So I put my middle in. that together. Oops. Okay, and then you'll be able to slide these in place once you have this locked down. So because I'm short, I put this on here now. I'll probably just make it easier. But we'll make sure it's nice and secure in a minute. So when you lift these up, we need to be able to find the buttons. So you're probably going to have to take it all the way out. So there's our button. So we need it to go into this hole that's right here. So there's that side. There's our button. There's that side. So now we can make sure that this is nice and secure and tight here. You push down on these, make sure they're secure. And then your bottoms. So what I love about this the most is you can basically already have your product set up. So that took me, what, less than five minutes to put together. And the taking down is the same way. It's really super easy. So this wardrobe, like I said, or the clothes rack is about $15 at Walmart. Then you've got, you're going to need like drape hooks or S hooks. So we're going to put up. I wonder if I did this backwards, hopefully not, let's see. So you're gonna extend, now well, let me say something first. If you're just getting started and you don't have as much stock, you can literally hang your pegboards just here on this middle part. But if you've got a lot of product that you wanna share, pull these all the way out and then put them back in about three inches and lock those in place. You can have four pegboards at a time. So I'm going to start over here. I'm just going to stick my hooks up here. And I've already got my board put together, so it's going to save you a ton of time. So here's my first board. Now the pegboards, you can get, a, I think it's a four by eight sheet, and I'll put all the information below for like $12 at like Home Depot or Lowe's. I believe it's Lowe's. Um, like I said, I'll put all the information below. But you just put your hooks in there. And then you have it cut into, you can have it cut into six pieces. Um, the dimensions of each piece are 24 by 36 inches. They're gonna be wood colored. This is my second board, let me grab my hooks. So you can get, um, paints like the oops paints where they you know messed up what they were mixing and those are really cheap or you can just get I got mine at Walmart it has a primer in it so I'm going to put my hooks maybe three three or four in on each side and then hang my board from there I went with four because I've got a peg So there's one set. The hooks are um, either S hooks or drape hooks. You can get them for between five and ten dollars at Walmart as well. And I'm sure um, Amazon has them. And when 
you um, store your boards in your car, let me see if I can show you. You can make a little sandwich with the product in the middle, and that way it shouldn't fall off either. You might have to pick up a couple if it, the car is bumpy. Like this one stole one from the other rack. That's okay. So hopefully you can hear me when I'm turned around, but all the information is going to be below. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to put together. See all that kind of? Yeah, not too bad, right? So I have, you can get about 100 hooks, um, again for like 12 bucks. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks. Um, I just got black because they match my board and they have clear and things like that. These are this shape. That way that it's in two different pegs, it keeps it, you know, from like falling out or moving too bad. Now what you can do too, and I didn't just for the sake of saving time, you can add another row on the bottom and on the bottom here of, of strips. You can add a whole other row. Um, but you're gonna have to put those, you can have the hooks on there already, but you can't put your pegboard down with a bottom row of strips hanging off, they're just gonna come off. But you can have your pet your pegs here and here and you can have them just add on the strips when you get to your show. Um, these are drills fit on there. They have a little tab you can put the drills right on your wall. You can set this up at home to have um, open houses. Um, what these, now I will tell you, our polish strips, when you're shipped them, the peg is down. Okay, so it just comes like that. When you, if you just open this up a little bit and pull your tab up, there's your tab there. If some of our premiums don't have a tab, if you just have large paper clips, you can use those and they don't, you know, they don't stand out at all. I don't know if you can see way over there on the wall, but they don't stand out at all, so no big deal. Um, just a couple of other tips. Um, I sorted mine kind of by color. I go, our pink is our best seller, so I have lots of pink. Then purple, you could do blues, I've got reds. I did um, some shears. But over here, where the kiddos, like that, their kiddo height, I've got unicorns. And then I've got kind of mommy and me type sets at the bottom. So all the minis are at the bottom. And those are great for toes or for kids, um, little fingernails. And I've got like corresponding designs right above them. So if mom, you know, we've got peppermint, for example, of the mommy and me sets, they can get matching sets. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. But even if they're not like perfectly, because um, like those are pretty perfectly matched, but even if they're just similar, because, you know, that'd be a great manicure night for mommy and daughter to just do something similar even. So I've got the corresponding designs at the bottom and it's kind of at the kids level where they can, mommy, mommy, look at this unicorn or, you know, look at this, whatever design they like, the red, the pinks, whatever they like. So um, that's really it. I'll have all the information below, but you see how easy it was to set up. I mean, we're not even, our time right now is not even 10 minutes. So you can, you can prepare at home. Oh, one other thing. You can have a sign and I just printed, this is cardstock. So it's a little bit thicker, but you can laminate it. Um, I got clothes pins just from Dollar Tree and I colored them black um, with just a, a permanent marker, but um, you don't have to do that even, whatever, you could buy a nicer one, whatever, but these were just like a whole bunch of clips at Dollar Tree. So um, you can hook them, you know, right to this, can you see me, this hook right here. You could hook it directly to the board. And then obviously, if you know, say you had polish over here and like premiums at a different price, you could have two different you know, signs, whatever you need, but um, that's it. So it's super duper easy. I, I highly, highly, highly recommend. You can still, two things, you can have a table still for like your dips, you know, so you can still have a table for your dips, for business cards, you know, for whatever, but 
Realistically, this is also going to kind of help you because a lot of people like to sit down at events and it's not a good way to sell your products. You want to be up talking to the customers. So you want to be up and answering questions for them and this gives you a great way to, to not really be uh, focused at a table. It also brings everything up higher to where people aren't having to crouch down to see everything on the table. Granted, if they want to see these minis at the bottom, you know, they're going to have to crouch down. But um, there's enough room for three or so people still to, um, to be looking at a time easily. You can, um, depending on how you're set up and if you have the ability to keep an eye on the back side, you could literally hang more pegboards from the back. Um, the only reason you couldn't really use, you could use these, but you're going to have these bars in the way on the back side. But you can still do, you know, around them, or you could even just kind of have your strips in the front this way to where it would go over this um, board. But um, just for the sake of showing you, you would be able to see the back anyway, so I didn't do the back side. Um, but you can hang more pegboards too, and that way um, you wouldn't have the issue of this pole being in the way because you would just hang it on the other side. Um, but, what was I going to say? I completely lost my train of thought. I hate it when it happens. Um, I don't remember. Okay, so 10 minutes is good. Easy setup. Oh, your table. You can have your table. They sell baskets with that you can put a little basket up here, and you could have your dips, you know, say along the middle right here. You can put your sign over here, however you want to do it. Um, so you could still have your dips even here. I would definitely suggest you have your sheer strips if you're going to have your dips available. Um, but you can have a small table with your dips, however you want to do that. Um, but this really gives you a lot of room. And then when you take this down and take it home, put it back up at home and put it by maybe like your front door area. And that way when people come over, they'll be like, oh, what are these? And you can maybe sell or you can have an open house anytime you want. You can set this up for garage sales. I mean, it is so easy and so mobile. So um, I, I highly recommend um, getting this type of setup for you, even if like I said, you grow it, you know, start with just the middle section if you want um, and keep your bars in. And then as you grow, you can expand what you've got going on. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I had a lot of fun getting this together and um, I'm going to keep it up so that way when people come over, they can see them. So thanks for watching.